This is my newest mini aquaponic system made with uh, two five gallon water jugs. Let me go ahead and show it to you a little closer and tell you how it works. Going to the top jug. This is filled with hydrogen clay balls so I can grow things. Now I just set this up, just got it together a few days ago. So I'm going to get the fish in the bottom doing their thing before I put the plants in. But as you can see, the plants are going to go right in there and bury them right in very easily. In the middle of this I have a bell siphon, which is that in the middle. And that siphons the water and fills it back up to what maybe a half inch below the hydrogen pebbles. So it floods this bed every 45 minutes. And this is where the water comes in. It comes out of that little T on both sides to fill it up. Now as the water goes down from there, it comes right down this tube, which is below that water jug. Let me get back to show you. So that's what comes out of the middle of the bell siphon. Water goes down there, goes over to the right, and down in there. Feeding the inhabitants as you can see them. You got three goldfish in there right now. And that helps to aerate it as well. And you can see the bottom part. And I even left it clear over here so they can swim into the neck if they want. Now what I did here is I painted the back and the bottom black. I don't know if you can see it better over here. You can see how the black paint comes from here, goes down. So this whole part is painted black in the back. That's because that's where the sun is, right behind that white cardboard there in the background is the window. I put that there so uh, I could show you a video without having the glare from the window in your eyes. And so that stops the algae from building up from the sun always beating on it. And the same as the top, the top from here all the way around is painted black. So that way, you know, the water's not being, uh, the sun's not affecting the water and creating algae underneath the hydrogen. The top doesn't matter because there's no water in the front top, maybe half inch. So that'll be right there. So the way it works, I actually have a electric timer, which is down here. And you can see right now it's got 37 minutes left and it's going to go off. And that electric timer, uh, every 45 minutes it goes off. And what it does, come up here, then the pump, which is that blue thing down there in the water, pumps the water up here. And you can see that hose going up, 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 coming right over there and inside. It's a pretty simple system, fills it up. When the water gets just to the top of that bell siphon, pretty much even, even to the top of this right here, it just flushes right out completely. And the water will flush completely. I'll try to show you that there in a, towards the end of this video so you can see it actually happening. And matter of fact, the water displacement, right now it's full, which is the line is right here full. It probably goes down about maybe this much. So filling this entire thing, because it's filled with hydrogen, only takes that much water, so probably about an inch. So it doesn't really bother the fish. And that's pretty much the whole system. I built the frame out of PVC pipe. I believe that's three quarter inch PVC pipe. And I'll show you here from the front how that looks there. And I'll bring you around the other side so you can see the bottom of it. And that's pretty much it. So I unplugged the timer, which is down there now. And if I come close over here, you're going to see the water is filling up. Actually, it's filling up on both sides. And that's going to fill up this tub to about, like I said, a half inch below the water, uh, below the hydrogen. 
Let's see if it's filling up yet. I'll go ahead and speed this up for you. Now the water's getting close to the top as you can see. In fact, I might even be able to you see how it fills up right there. And it's starting to come out a little bit. It hasn't quite reached the top. But let's go ahead and look at the bottom tank, what's happening. It takes about a minute and a half. There we go, now it's draining. The bell siphon's going down. And it'll drain that top tank completely. You can even see the displacement, how it started about here. And it's going to go up to about there when it's done. And it happens every 45 minutes. And the whole idea is just to keep the hydrogen pellets moist so the plant roots will stay moist. Now with the timer it would shut off right now so it will stay empty but since the timer is not plugged in this cycle will just continue and continue and continue so about every minute and a half to two minutes it's going to go ahead and siphon out. So that's the whole system. A mini aquaponic system with two five gallon water jugs gives you a way to grow your plants so you don't have to fertilize them the whole idea is the fish waste will fertilize the plants and the plants will help to oxygenate and help the fish so it's a complete cycle the only thing you have to do is remember to feed the fish so if you'd like to know more about this come to our site whyamigreen.com and you can see you will eventually have the plans up for this as well as the plans for a few other systems that we've built and in the meantime remember if you're not growing you're not green bye bye